Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles. We're gonna show you how to change the oil on an Evo Sportster. So the drain is kind of in a little bit of an odd spot. It's down here underneath. There's a little L-shaped tube going to the frame and it has a little hose clamp on it. And that's actually your drain. I'm gonna loosen that clamp, pull that hose off, and let everything drain. I also like to pull the dipstick out of the oil tank just to let it draw through real nice. We're gonna, we wanna get as much oil out of there as we can before we take our filter off because it'll be less messy up here and it's gonna be pretty messy to begin with. So now we're gonna pull our filter off. These filters tend to get like sucked down on there. Uh, an easy way to get them off is with a filter wrench. I'll put a link to this in the description. You can grab it with channel locks or stab it with a screwdriver or something like that. It's gonna create a huge mess. This is much easier. After we get that off, we're going to put about four ounces of oil in our filter and just kind of lube this O-ring here. We put these on, you don't need to gorilla arm them down. Actually, the manual just says, get them on their hand tight and turn them about three quarters of a turn and they'll suck down on there for you. ring and then we're going to dump about four ounces or so right in our filter. So when you put this filter on here you got to work fast because otherwise you're going to dump out all your oil. So once it touches down turn it about three quarters of a turn. Now there is a nice little nut on the end of there but that's for taking it off. You don't need to put a wrench on there and gorilla arm that thing down. It's just not necessary. Our Sportster takes three quarts of oil total. So I already pre-lubed the filter with some out of here. We're gonna take the remaining two, almost three quarts and put in the oil tank. So the next thing we're gonna do is put our dipstick back in, fire the bike up and let it warm up a little bit. And then we're gonna check the level on the dipstick right here. The important part of this is the bike has to be straight up and down. You can't check the level on the kickstand. So it'll be two marks on your dipstick. As long as you're right in the middle of there, you will be good to go. And it looks like we are directly in the middle between our two lines. So our level is perfect. Two lines. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. If you like what you see here, tell your friends and please subscribe to us. Now, go work on those motorcycles.